rigorous, rigorous, hey. rigorous. Gang gang looking rigorous Look My champagne but I'm rigorous My campaign looking rigorous Look Whole team hella rigorous Lifestyle so rigorous what? Hairstyle so rigorous hey. The top five ain't rigorous If you left out this rigorous You know I understand the thing as, as women though Women do uh, expect um, a certain type of way to be treated mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's little things And it, it, it doesn't matter whether you're saying you don't believe and Valentine's Day, yeah. you don't believe in, in in dates. You'd rather spend at home. Um, relationships are compromised, so uh, it, it doesn't matter well, that you don't of your uh, uh, about Valentine's Day. I don't think it is your relationship. Uh, it is your your holiday to believe in. You know, if your partner it makes them happy, you know, I think you should um, want to jump over that wall. You should want yeah. to fuguza for that thing because. It just makes your partner happy. There's things yeah. that we do for our partners that that, that don't, don't make us happy because they are maybe putting us. Yeah. Maybe you're dating a person who doesn't like. The... But you wait, go. wait, wait, wait. You cut out. You date. Maybe you dating someone. Maybe you dating someone who doesn't like the movies, the cinema. Oh. Yeah, but you'll go to the cinema. Yeah, you know, you'll go watch that that, that movie because it makes your pe person very happy. It's all about. Yeah. Uh, compromising i'm so, i'm the same uh mm -hmm. i i i couldn't care less about making the bed i it it does nothing for me it doesn't mm -hmm. butcher says it makes her feel it's the first thing that she does in a day and it makes her feel like she can take over the world of I, yes whether i but i will wake up and i will make the bed because she likes the bed being made in the morning and it yeah. literally takes a minute and a half so me see you know me very well i hate you hate traveling, um, yeah? No, no, tra traveling. I oh, hate, traveling. Yeah, I hate traveling. Yeah. You know, I, I'm i not a traveling person, you know. It, it sounds boring. When I look at it at the perspective <laughs> of, of session. Yeah. It sounds boring, but I do want to be home all the time. I want to be in my space all the time. There is no time in my life where I'm like, yo, I wish I could go to Maldives. I wish yeah. I could go to Greece. I wish I could go to... There's no time in my life. Yeah. Absolutely no time. <laughs> maybe, in, maybe in New York, you know. Yeah, but yeah. I know I'm going there for. Sp yeah, but sure. there is no time that I would like to leave the house. Yeah. Or or even Johannesburg. There's no time. But you know, I will if there's an opportunity to travel, to to go to that Cape Town and stuff like. That, uh, because my partner is a person who, who likes to and experience new places and stuff like yeah. that. Why not? You're going to go. Why you're not? Gonna, yeah, why you're going to go. Yeah. 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 And then you're going to try and enjoy it. You know, you're going to yeah. try and enjoy it. You're okay. You're going to die. I always say this, like, I feel like the truest test of most relationships is how the people are able to deal with change. Yes. That's the, that's the biggest thing. It's, that's the real test of whether people last long or not. The people who last longer, the mm. only difference is that they have been able to deal with the change. And the people who don't last long either can't deal with the change or aren't willing to. And they're good. They're just going to try something else. That's so, why I think if you want your relationship to last, just every time you in the front seat, you'll be able to deal with all the change. But what is the next question, Zim? So earlier you were talking about communication problems. Mm, um, mm. Do you ever find that you and like Sasha, or even with your friendships, do you ever find that you and Sasha, um, you think you thinking the same thing, but you're not? Like maybe you'll be upset with her, and then later when you talk about it, she like you realize that's nowhere close to where she was going with said thing. And the reason I'm mm. asking this is because, like, unfortunately, it is something that happens in my relationship quite a lot, mm. um, where one of us will say something or do something. And the biggest thing here is because everybody thinks uh, their partner should be able to read their minds, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. what we'll end up doing is we'll um, do something. Uh, that gets the other partner upset or that or the partner does something that makes you upset or yeah for example with me and b and yeah. then i'll be like hey b this thing upset me because a b and c and she'll be like when did i say that and i'll be like mm -hmm. no this is you did this so i thought that this is what you meant and she'll be like i had no idea that's how you take like said thing yeah and so it like sometimes i'll even sit in like anxious anger about something and as soon as she tells me what she was actually thinking when she did a thing or said a thing, and then I'll realize, oh, 
damn, like that was that was not even worth my anxiety because I was nowhere where she was going about it. Do you find that that happens? Me, see, I hate uh, mind readers, girl. Yeah. Uh, because me, for for real, no one can do it. No yeah. one, don't don't assume. You yeah. know, As, assumption is very dangerous because yeah. you get yourself in in a spinning crockpot of just uh, assumptions, basically, where sure. you're like, yeah. I thought you were. I thought you were mad too. Yeah. I was mad, but I thought you were mad too. I thought you were annoyed. I thought you were. I thought you wanted, You were tired of me. I thought you, you wanted to. Leave. So, I hate assumptions. I hate mind reading because um, you're just as, 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 as assuming. So, yeah. hey man, we can we can just talk these things, but it's very hard to practice these things yeah, during the thing. during the thing during the fight yeah. during the tiff. I can say right now, but you know. What you guys are supposed to say is lay out to you. Yeah. I, was, I was upset here because this is what you said and I thought you were upset. And then I say, no, no, I, mean, uh, I you know? And hey man, guys, don't try your best not to believe. Or oh, you can, whatever, do whatever. But try not your best not to think Uti, everyone's life is perfect in the sense of people just tweet ideal, idealism. Yeah. Idealism. Yeah. They don't tweet what they live. They tweet yeah. idealism. Because in the real world, guys, I'll tell you now. Oguti, Akwa Nama tweets, Asho, Asho, Oguti, don't let your partner sleep angry. Yeah. Idealism. It is idealism. Idealism. Fully. Sometimes I'm going to resolve it right now. Right now. And I'm going to resolve it. Yeah. Like, what are you... <laughs> when generation started, t -t 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 -t. the fight started. Oguti is always solved by the time it's Friday, action night, 10 o'clock on ETV. Only on e Sometimes yeah. impossible. The fight yeah. sometimes will not end tonight and say you guys are cuddling and don't let you hey they, they like to be idealistic or to, yeah. don't let your partner go to bed Aquatile. Aquatile, sometimes yeah. it's gonna be two nights yeah it's gonna be two nights sometimes it's gonna be three nights you know it, it's it's as much as i tell people uh don't force the unforceable i think relationships are the highest level of, For, of fasting yeah i think yeah. relationships are the highest level of fasting you need to uh go back uh, no matter it takes two days three days yeah. you need to go back and say okay do we want to do this yes uh let's solve it let's talk about the fight uh what happened that and how can we try and move on from that and then there'll be periods Sibu. there'll be yeah. periods there'll be six months where you don't go without a fight where you go without yeah. a fight. Yeah. there'll be eight months where you don't you go without a fight and then sometimes a fight will happen this week and another one next week yeah so idealism kills yeah. the, the, the relationships because it really does mm, maybe you're not uh, you're not ready to discuss uh, or bury the hatchet yet yeah. so now you must bury it because you heard on two don't allow your partner <laughs> to sleep angry now your uh, partner's already asleep and now uh, you must wake uh, them up because you need to make sure what you, because uh, uh, because no. on Twitter they said you mustn't let them go to sleep angry. Yeah, yeah. Twitter, you know, Twitter standards is a whole other video because uh, a uh, idealism. I, yeah, I I don't get it. When I say Twitter, I also mean uh, music videos. You know. Yeah, or, or yeah, movies, everything. Or, TikTok, bro. Um, yeah. Just uh, the romanticization of re yeah. romantic relationships. Yeah. Which yeah. It's not uh, peaches and cream always. Sometimes it's avocados and we know how terrible that is so no, no, yes, no, yes no no we yes. don't i don't think uh, we all know what do, you're talking do, about yeah, they are, they are but um yeah so it's not always peaches and cream it is yeah. things that you, you you see on the movies are not going to always happen yeah you know, so, sometimes your relationship is going to your, your partner is going to go um your partner is going to be angry at you you go get in this big fight and she has to go uh, visit her, her aunt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna go to and the airport and apologize And people will be like, and run. Oh, say, I'm sorry, no, with, with yeah, our flowers. Yeah. No, you're gonna stay no. home. Oh, <laughs> exactly. You watch my story as well, okay. You, you, you wait until she comes back, and then, yeah, maybe yeah, you start talking and say, okay, you know what? I'm sorry for what happened a week ago. I hope yeah. you know, I hope I'm not a but um, can we just talk about what happened? Um, uh, two weeks ago and yeah i think yeah. i'm ready now i've come down and yeah I'm but that's but that's life like that's mm -hmm. genuinely i think if there's one thing that my therapist um always laughs at and and like she says to me is that like a lot of us are just going through 
adulthood yes. and we don't realize it and we think we're going through this special uh version of adulthood our own version where things are happening that have never happened to anybody else before mm-hmm. in the world mm-hmm. but that's because people don't talk about it which i get like some things are sad some things are difficult some things are embarrassing so i understand yeah. why people aren't here going um yeah actually my partner moved out like we're still dating but mm. uh they moved out because we needed our like separate spaces mm-hmm. and uh we're even better now like people don't say stuff like that because it's awkward it's confusing it is. for the general public to be like i i know of a couple who live together and then lived apart for like six months they couldn't live together anymore they lived apart their relationship flourished they just found the thing that worked for them and then they live together now again and mm-hmm. it's better but yes. can you imagine if they had just told people yeah we're still dating but we like don't live together anymore people like you yes. you've broken up it's over guys your mm-hmm. your relationship mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. dead so it's mm-hmm. like i think we all think that we're all living in our own specific very difficult simulation yeah. but these are all universal feelings so many yes. things i'm not even going to say so many things everything that you are going through in your relationship right now if Someone has. not as somebody has done it before mm-hmm. a yeah. lot of people have done it you are mm-hmm. not you are not the only one i'm sorry if you mm-hmm. feel special you are not the only person uh last one mm. um Singilezi love languages, George. Whoever hey. came up with that thing, mm. again because that's all people talk about nowadays. That's we've got this fixation now. But I understand and I appreciate the fact that we didn't have the language before to talk about a lot of these things. A lot of us yeah. struggle to articulate the fact that we like it when our partners do things for us, or we like yes. it when we get gifts, or we like when our partners cuddle us at night. Mm. Um, uh, so the question was how do you deal with the difference of love languages which i think is a perfect segue from what you just said how do you deal when you like acts of service and your partner likes gifts or you or just you and your partner like different things and now you have to do something that you wouldn't have normally done for your partner because the whole idea of the love languages is you you learn how to love your partner the way they want to be loved not just the way that you like showing love yeah um we all have different love languages though like you know what i'm saying Mm. Love is translation. It's um, you speak Tonga, I speak Chinese, Mandarin. Yeah, that translation is love, and it is what keeps you guys each other with love language. And in a couple of years, you know. Wait, sorry, um, it's cutting, George. I think you have. I think you have that. Um, what is it called? Um, push to talk. Yes, I think it only listens when you're speaking, so okay. it cuts out when you keep quiet sometimes. Okay. Um, so yeah, what are you saying about the love? Uh, yeah, I was saying, Guti, um, like you, you, you're going to want to uh, speak the language that your, spot, your partner speaks, and you're gonna end up learning it. You know, you're gonna end up learning, Guti. Okay, um, it's gonna come naturally. If before you, you met your partner, you weren't a of buying the roses, the chocolates and stuff like that because your partner likes mm. at the end of the day you're just gonna learn it's gonna come second nature. It's, it's gonna come to, when you use the engine garage, the engine garage and yeah, you yeah, see yeah. flowers and chocolate. It's it's second nature now. It's the same it's it's same to to breathing to you. Mm. Where you just as much as you're gonna go pick up that loaf white alpha, you also gonna pick up those flowers and chocolates. Uzbon is also these are for you. You know, it's that's you, you then you, when you get to that point, see where it's not forced to, you, you don't have to remind yourself that's when you've learned the language, yeah, that's when you can speak now, that's when, um, uh, uh, no ableist English, you know, that's when you've reached uh, compatibility, yeah. you know, and it takes some time to, to learn, but. You're going to learn your partner's language. It's, then... it's so in, it's so interesting oh. that you just said compatibility can be learned because I I'm I'm more on that side also with mm. the fact that you're not going to meet someone and instantly just like all both of you guys just and like there's no like clashing like yes. just in, it's there's a good chance that's not going to happen. Sure, mm. some of you guys might have fairy tale stuff, but there's a good chance that's not going to happen. You're going to have to learn to do some things that you did not care about before. There. You never bought anybody flowers, not because you have a bad heart, but that's just maybe your ex-girlfriend or your ex-boyfriend didn't care about that stuff. So Mm. you just never did it. But now you meet someone who loves flowers. You're just going to buy flowers, bro. It's Mm. not going to be. That's why with the whole dating thing, I'm always like, 
you don't have to compromise if somebody truly care if somebody truly cares about you yeah. and you also understand their means yeah. it's not even going to feel like compromise it's no. just going to feel like a way cuz i feel like what tends to happen yes, yes, yes. Mm. i'm going to get very like gross right now but what tends to happen is that you have all this love inside of you from this person that you want to like get out of your body and so getting those flowers is a way of sort of pulling out that love that tension that you might feel from having so much love for the person that now you're able to give some of that away and like get it out of you mm. so that's how i feel like it is it's not even a matter of um you feel like oh i have to compro i have to make the bed yes. now i feel like that you i have to make the bed cuz she wants the bed made like no for me it just feels like an extension of the way that i feel about her like me making the bed is a way for me to get out that tension of love that like that that way that i feel about her in a way that she's going to be able to see it cuz at the end of the day it's a feeling it's not it's not i can't say here is love it's a black book with a pencil like i you can't say that it's just it's a feeling so mm. it feels like those are like the little things that you can do to show this very very abstract feeling that no one can truly truly explain like that's what it feels like for me yeah I can't I couldn't have said it better. I couldn't yeah. have said it better. Yeah. yeah. Um guys, I really 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 hope that you guys enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun um talking to my friends. But um yeah, that that last bit came from the heart because it's just facts, man. It's just facts. Um when you love someone, it 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 doesn't feel it doesn't feel difficult. It really doesn't feel difficult. It feels like you're just doing what you would have done any day of the week. But thank you guys so much for uh watching this live stream. I really really appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys coming through, uh leaving comments. I know we couldn't interact as much as we normally do cuz George and I were just trying to get through um some of the questions, but I had a lot of fun with you guys today. I will hopefully see you tomorrow, if not tomorrow on uh Thursday. But thank you so much you guys for coming through. Please 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 be nice to people. Um be nice to yourselves, be nice to your parents. Uh, uh don't do drugs please 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 just uh give them to me bye guys